climate change science implodes as IPCC climate models found to be totally wrong. A new bombshell science paper authored by climate change scientists and published in the science journal Nature Geoscience has just broken the back of the climate change hoax. The paper reveals, what we already knew, that global warming climate models have been entirely wrong. All previous models were deceptively biased toward worst-case warming predictions, not based on fact. The paper, entitled, Emission Budgets and Pathways Consistent with Limiting Warming to 1.5 Degrees Celsius, concludes that the global warming long feared and hyped by everyone from Al Gore to CNN talking heads was based on faulty software models. They don't stand up to actual measured temperatures in the real world. In technical jargon, the paper explains, we show that limiting cumulative post-2015 CO2 emissions to about 200 GTC would limit post-2015 warming to less than 0.6 degrees Celsius and 66% of Earth system model members. In effect, the current global warming software models used by the IPCC and cited by the media wildly overestimate the warming effects of CO2 emissions. How much do they overestimate warming? By about 50%. Natural News Reports Climate change poses less of an immediate threat to the planet than previously thought because scientists got their modeling wrong, reports the UK Telegraph. New research by British scientists reveals the world is being polluted and warming up less quickly than 10-year-old forecasts predicted, giving countries more time to get a grip on their carbon output. In other words, the climate change threat has been wildly overstated. The fear-mongering of Al Gore and the government-funded science community can truly only be described as a junk science hoax. Climate alarmists suddenly find themselves admitting they were wrong all along. The paper concedes that it is now almost impossible that the doomsday predictions made in the last IPCC assessment report of 1.5 degrees Celsius warming above pre-industrial levels by 2022 will come true, writes James Dilling Pohl. He goes on to say. One researcher, from the alarmist side of the argument, not the skeptical one, has described the paper's conclusion as breathtaking in its implications. He's right. The scientists who've written this paper aren't climate skeptics. They're long-standing warmists, implacable foes of climate skeptics, and they're also actually the people responsible for producing the IPCC's carbon budget. In other words, this represents the most massive climb down from the alarmist camp. Just another great example of the hoax being perpetrated on the American people. No wonder Al Gore bought ocean front property. He knows he is lying. A new report from the Daily Caller explains that Al Gore is not even close to practicing what he preaches when it comes to the environment. Al Gore's house in Nashville uses 34 times as much electricity than an average house. The amount of electricity that Gore uses to heat his swimming pool over the course of a year could power six average households. Al Gore, well known for all the lies in his movies, specifically the 35 lies in Al Gore's movie Inconvenient Truth, can't even follow his own advice. He doesn't care. He's making money hand over fist with his climate change hoax. If he really believed the nonsense he spouted, and really believed we were heading for catastrophe, he would lead by example. Of course, climate change hoax purveyors have made up all kinds of excuses over the last decade for the reasons that climate change models showing global warming have been wrong 95% of the time, of the time.